Hello everyone, I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play A1, and this is the third installment of DuckTales for the NES. This is a walkthrough of the full game on the hardest difficulty from start to finish. In these videos, we will learn how to acquire enough treasure to gain the best possible ending. With that being said, let's get started. This level has the first level syndrome to me. The Amazon has four new enemies to encounter, plus we need to acquire 600k which will place us on the correct path to the best ending. In this area, the main enemy that you want to pay attention to is the bee. Proceed to the right. Take out the gorilla and make sure to scan the area for diamonds with a pogo jump. Now, the reason why the bee enemy is so annoying is because they respawn infinitely. So always be mindful of them as you make your way through the level. Make sure you check all the stones for diamonds by either doing a pogo jump or by using a golf swing. Now here's a section that allows us to go underground, but we will return here in a bit. For now, keep heading to the right. Simply bop the snake with a pogo jump and continue to search for diamonds. In order to achieve the 600k, we need to use launch pad to fly out the level to restart it. But for now, let's aim for at least 400k before we do so. When you reach the fourth vine, climb it to find a hidden room which contains two ray diamonds. Now continue to the right and be mindful of the bee as you do so. The Amazon level is really not all that bad once you know where you're going. When you reach the chest suspended high in the air, use the pogo jump off of a bee to help you reach it. From here, go all the way to the right wall and scan the area for several diamonds. Now let's head back to the section near the beginning of the level that allows us to go underground. Using the power of editing, Let's shorten the journey and head there now. Once you make it back here, climb down the vine into the section underground. Now use the golf swing and hit the object towards the left at the pillar, then pogo jump your way off of it and onto the platform at the very top. Keep going to the left and collect the multiple treasures in the hidden room. Once that's finished, let us backtrack and head to the right. Be mindful of the various spiders and bottomless pits down here. Also, make sure to use the pogo jump to safely make your way across the spikes. Be sure to collect the one up and once you reach the end, use the vine to climb your way back to the surface. Keep climbing up, and when you reach the screen with the two bees flying, make sure to collect the red diamond from that chest. Now jump over the Venus flytrap and grab the ice cream if needed. From here, we need to head left. This area takes a bit of platforming skill and a bit of luck. Avoid the bees as best you can and do your best not to fall. Soon, you will reach a platform around the middle of the area but you will need Launchpad's help to reach the next pillar. Grab the rope from Launchpad's plane then drop from it when it's safe to do so. Now keep heading to the left and once you reach the bridge made of stone, we need to hurry across it or we will fall. Just pogo jump and keep holding left on the D-pad. When you make it safely across, take out the gorilla and climb the vine to the upper level. At this point, take out the stones and grab the red diamond from the chest. Now talk to Launchpad. When he asks you to fly back to Duckburg, make sure to select no. Now hop on the upper level, then head to the left. You will reach another hidden room with one red diamond and three yellow ones. Collect them, then head back to Launchpad. 
you should now have over 400k. Now with that amount, we can fly out this level then come back with only needing to acquire 200k to achieve the 600k. Once you return to Duckburg, make sure to return to the Amazon. Now all of the diamonds are back, so all we have to do is collect them again, but this time, we only need 200k to achieve the total 600k from this level. The gameplay is going to be the same as before, so with that being said, and using the power of editing, let's head back to the area where Launchpad was located. As you can see, we now have over 300k, which means we have amassed our 600k goal for this level. Now go to where Launchpad was located and return to the hidden room at the left for more diamonds. Now let's backtrack towards the beginning of this area and proceed to the right. Here is where we have to outrun an Indiana Jones death trap. Make sure to use the pogo jump to evade the spikes here. At this point, take out the native who will always try to hit Scrooge with a throwing spear. Now continue to the right and make sure to dodge the native spear as you go. Once you reach the area with the two spiders, it means we are near the end of the corridor. When you reach the room with the statue, it's going to ask you for a payment of 300k to pass. Make sure to select no, then use a native to help you reach the vine by doing the pogo jump off of them. Now talk to Dewey and make sure to collect the red diamond and the one up behind him. Finally, proceed to the left and get past the final death trap to enter a boss battle. Kane Manko will move from right to left in order to hit Scrooge. He will attempt to crush the player by jumping on them as well. If the player is on the ground when the boss lands, you won't be able to move for a few seconds. Time his jump then use the pogo jump to land an attack. Hit him 5 times in the head for the win. Alright guys, that's it for the segment. Be sure to tune in for part 4 of DuckTales. I'm Dad Mishima, see you next video.